We now have our candidates for junior champion of our open show entering the ring. We welcome our first and second place winners back for a second look. I know our judges are going to have their work cut out for them this evening. Our junior champion female will receive the Norman E. Magnuson Memorial Award presented by Easy Milking Equipment, LLC of McFarland, Wisconsin. A champion brand will be presented to both the junior champion and the reserve junior champion by Select Sires Incorporated of Plain City, Ohio. And the junior champion will receive a rosette presented by the Right in the Rain Company of Tacoma, Washington of Lodi, Wisconsin. At this time, I would like to reintroduce these winners to you as they are entering the ring. Our winning pair of spring heifer calves lead the parade tonight. Entry 1683 was the winning spring calf. She is Dublin Hills Sarah E.T., exhibited by Amy Liller and Matthew Yeager of Woodsboro, Maryland. 1695, M&M Total Shotsky, exhibited by M&M Swiss, Matt, Megan, Jake, and Levi Stussel of Alma Center, was your second place spring calf. There were 31 animals shown in that class today. The winter calf class also boasted 31. The winning entry? Blessing Tanbark Fanny Twin, entry 1727, exhibited by Cade Blessing of Blessing Farms of Fort Wayne, Indiana. Second place in that winter calf class went to entry 1741. She is Carlin Gibb Rumble, exhibited by Carlin Swiss and Jeff Brown of Jackson Center, Ohio. There were 30 calves that competed in the fall calf class. Winner of that class was entry 1771, Cutting Edge T. Tracy E.T., exhibited by Overstreet Dairy of Chillicothe, Texas. Second place honors went to entry 1795, Cutting Edge Thunder Fay, exhibited by Lori Beggs of Ogdensburg, New York. 23 summer yearlings were contenders for that class winner. The winning honors went to entry 1814, Top Acres Peppy Wazella, exhibited by Ken Main, Peter Vale, and Frank and Diane Borba of Copake, New York. 1815 was the second place summer yearling. She is Top DeMarc Flash Adeline, exhibited by Elise Ragushi of Modesto, California. There were 25 animals shown in the spring yearling class. The winner was 1845, Arethusa Braden Nadia, exhibited by Arethusa Farm of Litchfield, Connecticut. Second place went to entry 1859 in that class. She's Budel Precious Adele, exhibited by Sarah Harn of Brooklyn, Wisconsin. The next pair to make the corner in the, in the ring today are the winter yearlings. There were 21 shown in that class today. 1880 was named your winner, Cutting Edge W Fly and Flip ET, exhibited by Taryn True of Perry, New York. 1882 was the second place winner yearling, Hoodstead Total Promise ET, exhibited by Nicole L. Hood of Middletown, Maryland. And our final pair in contention for junior champion of the show, and there were 16 shown in this class that just left the ring. Entry 1904 was named the winner, North Lane's L. Poofy, exhibited by Chelsea Skidmore of Union City, Ohio. And our final candidate for junior champion of this open show is 1908 Vogren Pepper Woodsy OCS, exhibited by Tammy Vagley of Arlington, Wisconsin. Ladies and gentlemen, your candidates for junior champion of the 2014 International Brown Swiss Show. Let's show our appreciation for the quality on the colored shavings. And now to name his junior champion and reserve junior champion of the show, Judge Topp. Well, it's truly been an honor to come here and judge your uh, Brown Swiss Heifer Show. I thank the exhibitors for uh, putting me in this spotlight. Um, I've been thoroughly thrilled. I thank my associate. She's been great help. I think you like, you see what uh, we like. We like heifers that exhibit balance from end to end. We like heifers that walk with tremendous set of feet and legs. Heifers that uh, have that sharpness and dariness, the angularity, that femininity, that openness of rib you like to see. But most of all, just heifers that have no faults. And I think all, I usually don't only pull out four or five heifers. I pulled seven heifers that, you know, you could probably talk any one of them maybe into being junior champion out here. Um, just great heifers all the way through. Not going to spend much more time. I'm going to go out and tap my junior champion, reserve, and honorable mention. 
But if you give all these Brown Swiss exhibitors one uh, heck of a round of applause for a tremendous quality they brought out. Well, when these heifers came out, uh, this senior calf, she just grabbed our eye today. She's a heifer just puts it all together. She's a heifer that just has no faults for us. She's a heifer. She's sharp. She's dairy. She's angular. Heifer walks on a tremendous set of feet and legs. She's a heifer that has style. You admire this heifer for her correctness all the way through. It gets a little closer placing today. But when these two heifers are out here for reserve, I think the spring yearling holds herself together a little nicer in line today. I'm giving her a vein. She has a little more openness and depth of rib today over our summer yearling. You admire the summer yearling for her size and scale. She just heifer has a, has a tendency to open up in that shoulder today and not as much rear flank as our uh, spring yearling. But two, three beautiful efforts out here of our Brown Swiss show. Let's give all these champions one more nice round of applause. And congratulations to our junior champion of the show. She is the winning fall calf entry 1771 cutting edge T. Tracy E.T. exhibited by Overstreet Dairy of Chillicothe, Texas. Reserve honors go to entry 1845 Arethusa Braden Nadia exhibited by Arethusa Farm of Litchfield, Connecticut. And we extend honorable mention to entry 1814, Top Acres Peppy Wazella, exhibited by Maine, Vale, and Borba of Copake, New York. Congratulations, exhibitors.